In order to divide a factory that has an overhead crane, and an overhead crane is a crane that's going to traverse back and forth in a facility like so, you have to consider how you're going to hang your hardware. So in a normal factory or warehouse, we have hardware which we drop down from above. So you can see here the hardware comes down, it goes into our track, and then below the track obviously you have your curtain and you have your separation. That is not possible in a situation where we have a crane overhead going back and forth. So we have some options for you to divide this type of a factory or warehouse and we'll go over those now. The three options that we see as most common are number one, the tension cable, number two, freestanding, and number three is a portable setup where you're forming more or less uh, work cells rather than just dividing uh, the atmosphere or a large area. So we'll talk about number one first, which is a tensioning cable. The tension cable system works with a turnbuckle. So you have a turnbuckle and then you have a steel cable and then you're fastening it to some fixed object, which is going to have to be pretty substantial depending on the size of your curtain. So usually, if you're having an overhead crane, it's rolling on rails or some kind of a beam system. So you already have structure that's very strong just to hold the crane. So you can tie off to these and you can run a cable from point A to point B. And how strong that rigging needs to be um, kind of is determined by the type of curtain you have. So if you ask Akon to quote this system, we actually don't provide the hardware to do this. Um, you can get it in, at hardware stores or you can talk to a rigging company. Um, it's a very common component in the industry. But what we'll do is we'll say, you know, this curtain is, you know, 30 feet high and it's 120 feet long and it's going to weigh, you know, X amount of pounds uh, per foot. And then you can do the calculations to determine what kind of rigging you need. If you don't get your rigging strong enough, what you're going to end up with or tight enough is you're going to end up with a system that has a bow to it because of the weight in the middle. Um, so that's one option. Now freestanding is going to be limited with Acon up to 10 feet in height. If you want to go taller than that, a lot of the facilities that purchase from us have the ability to fabricate their own freestanding hardware. It's basically just tubular steel with a base plate which you can't see and you know it goes straight up. So uh, if you want to go to higher higher areas we can certainly accommodate that by providing you with the track which is going to allow you to roll side to side. So you would have something like this. We have our track, the curtain in it, and then we'd have a connector that comes off to the side and it has a little fitting here and then your tube would have to accommodate that fitting you know and however tall you want that to be. And we can send you the details on that as well. Um, but as far as what we stock, 10 feet is our height. And what you can do is you can leave this open here. Or if you're going to be down low, you could even run this all the way across with the hardware. So a lot of different scenarios. And you'll notice also from above, if you want a complete seal, we can use strip curtains. So these are just the clear strips that we sell for door openings. And these mount to the roof deck. Or they can mount to the... Um, uh, the beams or purlins or whatever you have up there to attach to. And the crane will just push through these and it'll just kind of push to the side and flop back. Just like when you walk through them uh, with a push cart or a forklift. So freestanding. Uh, this is going to give you a very nice clean setup with no sagging like you might find in a, uh, a cable system. Um, now a portable system we call our SB5000. And what this is, is a post that has casters, which you can just barely see. And these can be rolled around the floor. They can be set up in different scenarios. So you have a post here, post here, and the operator walks the shade across, connects it. And then you can have another shade coming out of this one, going to a post over here, he connects that one. So you, just about any setup you, you can think of we can do with this type of a, a shade. And as I mentioned, these can be rolled completely out of the way. So you can take these and push them all over to the side when you're not, when you're not using them. And 
you can see your crane up here is completely unobstructed, so it can come in, you know, drop material into this cell, pull it up, drop it over here, or you can retract the shade so the crane can go completely through with the hook, that is. Um, just a very flexible system. A lot of our fabrication shops purchase these, and uh, it works really nice. So those are the three options. Um, now, as far as cost is considered, this is the least expensive. This is the second least expensive. And then the most expensive is going to be uh, this setup here. And it's worth noting that these are pretty much different applications. You're not separating an environment with this. You're basically separating workers and pro processes that are taking place. You're forming work zones with with these, you can also do the same thing. As you can see here, here's a three-sided. Um, but most of the people with overhead cranes are looking to separate one environment from the other. So the tension cable or the freestanding as it goes straight across uh, are the most common. So if you have any questions, please just reach out to our uh, technical staff and they can help you with uh, any questions you might have.